In this episode, we're going to be installing and talking about something that is sometimes controversial in the automotive aftermarket, and that's throttle body spacers. If you're looking for bolt-on items for your vehicle that are supposed to increase power or give you better performance or gas mileage, one of the things I'm sure you're going to come across is a throttle body spacer. Throttle body spacer is basically just a block of aluminum that's made to go between your intake and your throttle body. It's supposed to give better airflow going into the engine, which is supposed to increase performance or gas mileage. If you spend much time online reading about these things, you'll find complete opposite ends of the spectrum when they're talking about these. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people say they're a waste of money, a waste of time. I don't have any experience with those. I've never used one on a fuel injected engine. I have used some spacers on some older carbureted engines and I have noticed a little bit of difference, but that's just a little bit different than what we're talking about here. Somebody commented on my video when I cleaned the throttle body that I should have put a throttle body spacer on while I had it off. That would have been a great idea had I thought about it at the time, but I didn't. So I've got this spacer, it's from Jet Performance. It's part number 62134. It comes with all the parts and brackets and pieces and bolts and everything you're going to need to do the install. I'm going to go ahead and install this thing and we'll really find out if it's worth it or not. Again, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I've not used one. I've read a lot of mixed reviews. Yes, it works. No, it doesn't. I'm going to find out. So the first thing I need to do is remove my cold air intake. Then I'm going to unbolt the resonator. Now I'm going to go ahead and unbolt the throttle body. I think there's enough play in these lines that I don't need to disconnect them to install this spacer. If you want more details on how to remove this, refer back to my cleaning a throttle body video where I'd go a little more in depth with the removal. Included in the kit with this throttle body is a new o-ring and also new bolts that are longer than the factory bolts. I've got the new o-ring installed on the throttle body spacer. Now I can just install it in between the intake and the throttle body. Using the longer bolts included in the kit, I'll go ahead and get it, get it mounted up. With the throttle body out a little bit closer, you gotta be really careful of these connectors for your ignition coils. Since we've changed the position that the resonator is gonna sit in, Jet has included these little aluminum spacers, and that's where the resonator is gonna to mount to. So we need to install those. These just install in the factory holes that the resonator originally bolts to. Now we can reinstall the resonator. Don't forget to connect the little vacuum tube on the bottom of the resonator. Now I can reconnect the intake. Make sure you re-tighten down all your hose clamps. And throw your wrenches everywhere. Now we can start it up and see what happens. Well, no engine light. Let's take it for a test drive. So I just got back, I just took the truck for a five to six mile test drive. If I didn't say before, my truck's a 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. It's got the 4.2 liter inline six cylinder engine, just in case you were wondering. So my initial impression is I do notice a difference. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Now it's not a huge difference, but it does feel a little bit more responsive on the low end, like when you're taking off or when you're going lower speeds. It does feel a little more responsive and I, I can tell the difference. Again, I'm really surprised. I, I didn't really know what to expect going into this. Didn't know if it was going to be a waste of money and a waste of time or if it was actually going to work. But right now, again, I only got five, six miles of driving time on it. I have no idea what my mileage is going to do, 
but as far as performance, I can feel a little bit of difference. Now one thing that I have heard with throttle body spacers is that sometimes you get an annoying whistle sound or something like that. I don't hear that, but I do have a uh, aftermarket exhaust on the truck too, so the cabin noise is not really that big a deal. Even if there is a whistle, I can't really hear it though, with, especially with the, with the radio on and with the exhaust, I can't tell. Now these throttle body spacers are supposed to work well with cold air intakes and aftermarket exhausts and those kind of things, which I have all of that on my truck. Uh, so sounds like everything's working well together. I didn't have any check engine lights or anything like that go off yet. Hopefully I don't, but if I do, I'll definitely come back on and let you guys know. But right now, I'm happy with it. Uh, pretty inexpensive upgrade, didn't take very long, 20, 30 minutes really and uh, definitely a noticeable improvement. So again, this was Jet part number 62134 for the Chevy Trailblazer and other engines. Uh, it is compatible with several other models, this same part number. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. A little bit of throttle body spacer myth busting, I guess you might call it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. So I didn't really have any outtakes to share at the end of this video. It was a really a quick install. I didn't really have any issues installing that. But I do have about a week of driving time now since installing this throttle body spacer. So I thought I'd share a few final thoughts. So after driving this for about a week, really the performance increase gained is so, so small. And really it's only a little bit of an improvement in responsiveness, I think. It's, that, it's so small, it's really hard to notice. I really don't think it's any horsepower increase or anything like that. It's, that's about the only thing I can feel is just a little bit more responsiveness. And uh, not really a big... A big improvement. Um, I guess my final thoughts would be is it worth it? Probably not really. Um, it's not an inexpensive part um, so it's not like it's really a big deal but it's not a big enough of improvement to really justify buying it and spending the half an hour or whatever to get this thing installed. It definitely it didn't decrease any performance. I don't see where it hurt anything. Um, I don't yet know what my fuel mileage is going to be. I haven't calculated that. I should have calculated that during this week that I've been driving, but I really was focusing on how is the truck running and uh, do I feel any kind of performance. And really, it's just so small. I, I just don't think that I could really say that it's definitely worth it. Um, again, I don't think it was a, a waste of money necessarily because um, I was able to test some things and see how it was going to work, but I wouldn't go out and tell you to buy this thing right away. You've got to have it. It's not one of those kind of parts. So overall, eh, I'd say save your money, do something different, and go from there. So final thoughts. Thanks a lot. See you later.